action from the White House to Speaker McCarthy's announcement that he will launch an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Certainly not going to uh, uh, going to speculate on on what has been uh, a baseless inquiry that the House Republicans uh, can't even really defend themselves, uh, and that many House Republicans have said they have said they couldn't support their own votes. So we bring in the chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, Republican Congressman Jason Smith of Missouri. He's one of the leaders of this impeachment inquiry. Congressman, thank you for being here. You heard from Corrine Jean-Pierre there. Here is a, a bit of an echo from other Democrats who say that there is nothing here against the president. Watch. Kevin McCarthy, time after time after time, is negotiating with the terrorists, is placating the extreme wing, and that's why we are now going to be focusing in September on impeachment. There are no charges against Joe Biden, and they want to impeach the guy. That's obviously coming from Donald Trump. So, Jason Smith, you've been privy to this investigation. What is your answer to them when they say that there isn't any evidence here? What, what would you lay out for them today? I would say apparently they must have not met the depositions from the two credible IRS whistleblowers that came before my committee and highlighted how President Biden's Justice Department had obstructed the investigation of their son, of his son Hunter Biden, where in fact they allowed the statute of limitations to expire on felony crime convictions just in the tax years of 2014 and 15, where he hasn't even paid more than $300,000 worth of taxes based on his income from Burisma. There are numerous emails, text messages, WhatsApp messages, Hunter's laptop that shows that the President of the United States was not just aware of his son's business dealings, but it goes much farther. So uh, there are reports that former President Trump has been instrumental in talking with Republican members of the House about pursuing this impeachment. Have you heard from the former president? Has he been encouraging this? I've absolutely not spoke to the former president in regards to this. What I will tell you, this isn't about Donald Trump. However, the Democrat members of Congress, my colleagues, is trying to blame Donald Trump. That's the only thing that unites the Democrat Party, is their hatred for Donald Trump. What this is about is making sure that the American people discover the facts of what's going on right now. They should be concerned that the president's family is in this foreign business dealings where that they're profiting off of their relationship to him, off of the brand, according to Devin Archer. There's a lot of things to look at. It's quite, quite nerve-wracking, Martha. Yeah. Um, I would encourage everyone to listen to the podcast I did with Sam Patton. He was, he pled guilty in the Russia collusion situation for a violation of FARA. And he has spent a lot of time in Moscow, a lot of time in Ukraine. He says nobody should be dealing with the former wife, uh, with the wife of the former mayor of Moscow, who gave millions of dollars to Hunter Biden. Uh, he said she's one of the most corrupt individuals in Russia. Why would anybody be dealing with her at all? You've got a lot of pushback from GOP senators. Uh, Senator Corrin, rather than doing something they know is unlikely to end they would, the way they would like, maybe they want to emphasize other things. Shelley Moore Capito there's, believes there is, uh, she asked if she believed there's enough evidence to impeach Biden. She says, I do not. Marco Rubio also saying that this is an effort that is going to fall short and is not worth the time and effort of Congress. What do you say to them? Martha, I would say that they're all completely wrong, and I would happy be happy to sit down with all three of them who I respect and let them see the facts. There will be more information that will be released, and once they see the information that I've seen, I'm sure that any reasonable person, especially a Republican senator, would agree with me that the President of the United States could be compromised. Do you have, have you seen evidence that shows a link to money from these, uh, you know, from these contracts that Hunter Biden had, that that money helped to support the lifestyle of President Biden? Have you seen that connection? 
You know, one thing a lot of people's not talking about, what we have seen is his video statement in Ukraine saying that he, they needed to remove the federal prosecutor that was investigating the Burisma, which is the company that his son mm -hmm. was sitting on the board getting paid over $2 million to be sitting on it, and then brags about the gentleman yeah, being well, fired everybody has six seen months that one, later. Uh, for sure. Um, that so, right there is enough in itself to say something is not right. All right, we will see where this goes. Representative Smith, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.